Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. We are still busy playing the Multiflow International Airport and now it is getting really exciting. We are, the operation is starting to work though we still have a little teething problems which I think is going to be the subject of today's episode to get rid of these teething problems so we make sure that our operation is more efficient. We don't have tons of planes filling up this uh, this place all the, all, all the time so really we should be able to get rid of those. So that's going to be a primary focus then we'll start looking at expansion over here maybe get out of efficiency with the icing move with some queuing and things like that all the way to the other side maybe rejig some of this as well okay but first thing says thank you so much for your support um, we're probably nearing the um, the end of the um, the series there's only a few more things left to do but for a limited time only if you hit that like button right now I'll throw in a few more episodes just for you okay so let's get straight into this so let's see where is our concerns at the moment oh it's actually cleared up c13 still uh, however does remain a bit of a problem and i do wonder why c13 and c14 as well why they struggle so much to get 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 their uh, get people here so we'll we'll have a we, we'll keep a close eye on these two while we do that while we do that first things first what i wanted to do is let's move the de-icing pad over here I've again in the debug menu and for those of you who still uh, are wondering about it if you hit the F10 button you get the debug menu there's all kinds of things you can do but in here in the construction little um, applet or something that they would call it um, just untick simulate construction simulate material I believe and then um, and then you don't uh, the construction take, takes place immediately so what we're going to do now we're going to grab ourselves the medium de-icing um <clears throat> the icing one Ooh, we're on the wrong floor for building um and i want to do it like so okay so if we do that then we'll get ourselves the taxiways in here as well um like that is what i'm gonna do and we will run the taxiway this entire length uh, or shall we give it a little bit something like that instead at least with this arrangement we have uh, the ability to to um, to extend this if we want to we'll just make sure that we leave that space available so we'll go over here and we will extend it through like that the issue with this however is that we do not have access so what I'm kind of tempted to do is actually because I want to get rid of all of these crossings and things I want to get get most of that um, that underground really so let's get ourselves the the service road tunnel to go down which I believe is exactly this one uh, and to be honest we can probably um, get it a little closer like that so it doesn't have to worry too much okay perfect now now let's get ourselves the service road pieces over here and we'll quickly finish that off like so and then if we go underground we need to link that up to something <laughs> and that is a bit of a challenge at the moment as it stands so where will we link this up from probably somewhere over here is a good idea so let's for now I'm, I might I'll have to clean this up at some point in the f in the future I might have to clean up well not I might I will definitely have to clean this up this is a crazy underground tunnel that we're building here and it's not efficient at all to be very honest with you it's not efficient at all okay so with that in mind uh, we'll leave it like so for for the minute so it means you can actually get there um, and we will try and sort out all of that with these guys not um, actually doing their thing at the moment we'll get rid of this uh, and all of that and all of that and now we've got that thing which we can't fix right this minute unless we uh, destroy our taxiways as well so we'll get rid of those two okay so now that's all all the th all the doing okay so what's going on over here so push back not started Let's quickly see. So it's C13. Um, it's not late at the moment. C13 is on time. It has arrived at 1620 and it needs to depart at 2105. 
everything is happening over here we've got a bit of a problem b1 our turnaround is not started so let's quickly go to the aircraft at b1 okay so what's happening over here so this is a remote stand um, all the b's are remote stands so at the moment we probably have a, a shortage of um security officers wouldn't have been my my call for that ramp agents so ramp agents are just not getting here do we have a shortage of service cars no we do not we've got a surplus so why why might i ask are you not actually getting here you're linked to a service car stand somewhere are you linked to a service car So who's who's actually where's ah I think there's an issue. I think there's an issue unless it's linked to a service car stand under here, which I cannot actually see. I don't think so. It's not linked to any of those. I think this one is probably not properly linked to a service car um, stand. So what we'll need to do um, is I'll have to have a look because these don't show where they are linked to. I'm not too sure what is going on here. So we're definitely not getting um, ramp agents out here. Um, and because we don't get ramp agents out here, we're, it's not working. So B2 has a link, B4 has a link, and B3 has a link. But B1 seems to have lost this link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that flight, please. Let's dismiss this guy. And as soon as you're out, let's just work on linking that up again. And we'll link up to this one, this guy right over here. Okay, perfect. Pause that and let's quickly link that and let's make sure we've got you linked up somewhere it makes sense. It's, it's uh, strange that I can't actually see what has been linked and what has not been linked, but we'll link you up over there and then hopefully, hopefully the next one that does arrive over here at B1, I mean, yeah, at B1 does, doesn't have any issues with that. I think that that was part of the problem. Um, what I'm going to double check over here is to make sure we've got I'm assuming that's a service car link over there. I'm assuming that's a service car link over there. Perfect. So those are linked properly. That one's linked. Where, where's this one? That one's linked up. That one's linked up. And that one's linked up. So really, they should all now be working. This one uh, is crazy because I can't actually see. Can we just move you out of the way, please? Okay, so you're linked up over there. You're linked up over there, over there, and over there. So really, we don't need all of them, but we've got a little bit of spare capacity. They're not any of them are using the same one. So okay, great. That is working now. I would hope. So we'll we'll keep an eye on whatever the next one over here is, um, so we can see if that does work for us. We have some fellows over here. Let's quickly just bring this up. Yeah, that's done. So it's just push back and stuff excellent so that is now working um, we're getting refueled um, I believe we've got loaded passengers in there are we bringing new passengers already oh no no this one is coming to pick up um, whoever is gonna come in here now Do, what is that baggage or something let's quickly come on B1 you're heading to B1 let's see what that yeah, service I uh, so they're arriving they're doing their thing uh, are we gonna see yeah there goes the passengers okay is the turnaround in progress absolutely so I think it was just it just didn't have it linked up or maybe the link up uh, disappeared or something for some reason um, we're getting refueling that vehicle over there seems to be a problem let's sell that vehicle so we can get that one out of the way Okay, so that is going along nicely. Let's quickly have a look over here. So we've got C13 again, slowing down. It's just waiting on people to come in. So that's it, all the other pieces have been done. Um, this guy is gonna want to get its stuff sorted. I believe it's fine, actually. Okay, what's going on with this guy? We're waiting on passengers. Let's quickly see them come in. This guy's got his passengers coming in, nice. Hopefully this one will see new passengers soon. Is there a bit of a mess up over here? A little bit still. So I'm still not sure whether that's the greatest thing. 
I'm kind of wondering whether we move some of this over here again a little bit more out of the way that area just gets a little bit too busy have you got your people here yet because there's no service agents anymore what's going on here let's quickly pause this ah we're waiting on something so boarding opens at 2149 so at the moment there is a problem because we don't actually have the bus is here the people are here we're just waiting on a service um, agent let's quickly have a look at that we have a shortage of some janitors our security officers are fine service agents are plenty so there should be a service agent here very soon to help that out uh, let's keep an eye here he comes he or she she here she is now let's um, quickly get them boarded nice seated everywhere okay hopefully the bus will now depart yes there goes the bus how far are you waiting on some people when are you supposed to leave 2245 so you are dangerously close to being late so let's pause that for a second and see if b1 is actually yes so nine minutes um, remaining i believe on your on your stay here the bus is arriving people are okay so if we go back yeah so you're now late okay everybody's out there so now you're gonna go okay so let's quickly see so who's next for b1 and whether that means you're on on time or delayed on the route yeah i think you're fine actually so a little bit delayed is not the end of the world you're out of the way and that is working i think it may have been the service car thing only um c4 is now delayed but it's already taxiing so c4 shouldn't be here anymore yes so c4 is on the way out um all of that is busy doing its thing again so that's working i'm happy that that is is working this is still we can move this one over here why are you oh are you going that way that's a little weird okay i don't want you to use this guy if you should be using that one over there but anyway that is okay i think I think things are kind of okay. D6 is now a problem, but D6 shouldn't be a problem. Why is D6 a problem? Boarding closed. What's going on at D6? What are you waiting? Oh, come on. Can I get out of here? What's going on over here? So kind of every... You sh you'll be pushing back, right? Yeah, pushing back. So you're just a little late. A little light we need to get this done a little quicker um so there's still a little bit of uh, passengers are boarding at the same time while fueling is taking place at c14 um so do we have enough of these vehicles is my question and are we getting enough of the um of do we have enough of them and are we getting enough of that so baggage trucks ah uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to add uh, um add a few baggage trucks but what is our fuel services looking like there's plenty of availability there but I might grab an extra one of those. So let's quickly go into the procurement tab. Into economy, into procurement. I want to grab us um, a couple of these, the Mavericks. Let's do like two more of them. So let's order that. And then some baggage trucks. Uh, do, 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 do. Which ones? Some of these. Let's get us house like four of them. Okay, hopefully that's good. Uh, the other thing I wanted to look, and thank you so much for in the comments saying that, uh, we need to have a look at our de-icing. So if we say de-icing fluid, ChemCorp is offering me de-icing fluid at $6 a liter. Okay, let's see if there's anything better than that. That should be a pretty good deal. Seven, seven. So yes, the icing is still, um, we are pretty good with the de-icing. Not causing us any concerns oh what i would have i opened up this area a little bit more over here um, this area is getting pretty busy with all of our flights coming in i like it um, the airport is nice and busy 
Whether we can do a better channelized exit arrangement is not something I'm too sure about, but at the moment it's pretty good. What I wanted to do is I wanted to add an extra one on this side so that we can add some more duty free pieces right over here. So let's quickly do that just for the minute. Um, let me grab this. I'll make room, how many? Four. I'll make room for four of them right over there. I'm going to grab the security zone. I'm going to extend it a little bit like so. And then I'm going to um, grab our security exit over here. And I'm going to slot it in like that. Yeah, I don't want to have it push out that way. I'll just do this. Excellent. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I've got room for two more big shops in this area. So let, let, let's quickly actually lay them in here. So what I've got the restaurant on that side, let me add another big restaurant um kind of say over here right that's about as good as we can get it and then i wanted to add an extra shop on this side i'm probably not going to fill them up right now uh, that's a little smaller but still might work so we'll put that in there so now that's kind of two more places where we can actually get people to funnel out straight over this way get through the shops and then go out onto this side perfect uh what i wanted to kind of do was do another big um kind of bathroom over here so i'll let things run i won't pause it now let'll keep an eye on this c14 is again having a bit of an issue um it's missing one passenger so let's quickly go over here and see so it did c14 are you gonna push back or what's going on you're waiting on this guy can you leave please there you go nice okay so you're out of the heading out of the way okay perfect so everything else should now be fine so there's a few that needs to be leaving now we are waiting at b2 for passengers okay let's quickly go and have a look at that i believe they are boarding now and then they will go Okay, there you go. Okay, so everything seems to be doing its thing. Okay, now what I wanna do is do two big kind of bathrooms over here. And you know what I could do? I can actually expand this area because we're not using a lot of this space now. And I don't think I'm gonna wanna use this um, again now. So we are, we have the extra space over there. So what I'll do is just under this, at the very least, I will expand our terminal building a little bit. Okay, perfect. So we'll do that. We'll open this area a little bit, do some bathrooms and things in there. Okay, so let's get rid of everything we have over here. I'll have to put a wall back in there. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Here we go. So actually, this is going to be our new bathroom situation right over here. Let's get some walls up and running. So we shouldn't... Yeah, actually, that's going to be a pretty decent bathroom right over there. Um, roughly center over there. Okay, now let's get some doors in here. We'll move them out of the way a little bit. Like so. Let's quickly mark these as bathrooms like so and like so um, then i'll go ahead and squeeze some more walls in here like that good stuff now how much room do we have in here for our bathroom layouts let's quickly i'll continue the uh, um so it's just going to be nice and big i think it's the best way is just to do it this way Okay, we'll do, wow, that's huge. These are huge bathrooms. That's okay, I'll, I'll, do, I'll, I'll deal with it like that. Um, now let's, uh, let's start by putting tons of these in. Like so, that's fine. And we'll get some hand dryers in here. 
like so that should be pretty decent then we could actually add a few more a couple more just the one so it's a nice and nice and sizable we should put some plants in there okay like that and we'll get a bin as well squeeze it in there I'm kind of wondering whether we do some kind of seating is it is it is it appropriate to do some seating in here I don't think we actually have sufficient space to do so uh, unless we do a little bit of this let's let's see how that works that's actually quite a nice little little restroom we've got built up over there let's uh, make it look uh, the part with in terms of flooring I think that's the ones we're using there we go nice so this is the female restroom so let's uh, do that and open it up for business so now that's pretty good now we'll quickly do the male male restroom over here let's quickly see if all of this is still tracking um, we're doing pretty well with this um, uh, loading of bags is maybe a little behind and I'm not sure whether we're waiting on stuff or what's going on but it seems to be a decent job and then boarding is happening at various locations as well okay that's okay Ooh, the bathroom is immediately being well utilized and what I'm yeah, these are all female passengers right yeah okay I was wondering from the top it looks a little funny but it is in fact all the female um, passengers okay now let's quickly do the same thing over here with some male bathrooms okay so for the male bathrooms how are we gonna do do that I'm kind of tempted to do a slightly different layout do a little bit of this Okay, we'll do a little bit of that, okay, and then we'll, no, that's not what I wanted to do, let's get rid of that one, I wonder if that's sufficient, or whether we need even more, but I want to try a little something else over here, ah, twice in a row, can you believe it? It's frustrating it's easy to in, in this game it's quite easy to get that click wrong because I think it's a little bit of lag that's causing that to be honest what are you doing in here shouldn't be walking around in there uh, okay now let's quickly get the urinals actually what we're gonna do hmm Maybe we'd rather do this and do that and what we'll do is I want to get rid of a couple so let's get rid of that 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 and that so you can actually go all the way around and then I'll I will also get um, a bit of a <laughs> a bit of a sofa over here as well but it doesn't make as much sense uh, over there okay now let's get some some of this Okay, like that, and then the hand dryers over here, please. There we go, get ourselves a bit of a plant as well. Grab that one and a bin as well. Just over there, perfect. Now, how about that? Um, now let's open this one up for business and we will grab the nice flooring over here as well. Not that nice, but it's okay. And now we've got a male uh, male bathroom over here as well perfect so now that should be better because over here was a little tight it was a little tight over there so now this should be be much better you shouldn't be hanging out over there i believe you probably lost how is this going uh again now c6 is awaiting passengers so let's quickly have a look what's going on at c6 is a remote one is this the passengers arriving yes there's the passengers now so it's just a little light on passengers at c6 14 minutes so it's not too bad but i would like to get that number better um, at d5 we've also getting passengers in now all of the services all of our turnaround services are working so i don't quite know why that's an issue okay so what i'm going to do now now i've got made, made some more room wow there was seems to be a have been a big demand over there 
Upstairs we have the bathroom and it is in use. So that's okay. Uh, though it's not as busy. We've got a bathroom over here that's not seeing any use whatsoever. Um, okay, we've got these bathrooms over here that's also seeing very little use. And we've got these bathrooms also seeing almost no use whatsoever. Okay, so we'll see. Wow, lots of passengers streaming out over here. All of this is still working. Um, the one thing I wanted to do now before we end this episode is expand our stands over here. So let's see. We want to go with medium stands and we're going to go with remote stands um, at the back. And I'm kind of thinking of offsetting it just a tad so that we've got this straight line. You can see on this one the straight line doesn't actually work. And I'm kind of wondering whether it's worth us doing it or whether we put them right opposite one another. Straight line over works over here and I kind of like it. But I don't know. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do let's do straight line on this side just as a little add a little bit more interest. So over here we're gonna do some remote stands. Okay, we need to I don't want to do too many remote stands, so we'll be uh, we'll we'll slowly open them. Um, but I do want to make sure we've got proper um, proper accessibility to them. So what I'm thinking of over here, let's quickly delete this piece. I want to I want to get rid of all of these um, all of these sections of stuff that doesn't seem to be working that well for us. So let's get rid of all of this, please. Oh, that's not actually going to want to do it. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get some new taxiway pieces in there. Taxiway. There we go. Sort that out. Perfect. Now let's get ourselves our tunnels over here. The service road tunnels. So we'll do that. And we will do that over there. And then we'll just link up these service roads so that we don't um, lose that. Okay, over there and all the way down there. So now there's that connection over there. I want to do something similar on this side, but we'll see. Maybe, maybe up over here and then we can actually squeeze in a little bit more. And we'll see how we, how we deal with it on this side. Actually, let's just do it now. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I want the tunnels. So if we're saying we'll do tunnel like this and like that um, and hmm are we gonna do it this way you know what we don't we don't have to we can do it we can just do it like that right um, and then Yeah, absolutely. That's going to be cool. I'm going to do it like this. And then let's quickly delete these pieces over there. And over there. And all the way over there. Nice. Now let's get our taxiway switched back in here. Taxiway. Taxiway. Give myself this service road tunnel over here. And like so, and we'll finish off with these service roads right there. We'll link these up over there. Perfect. What we'll do is we'll do um, a little bit of this for now. Okay. But I am thinking the good a good thing should be to extend these terminals, add a couple more stands over here. Uh, let's just go underground just a little bit. Oh, look at that, actually. We can do two things over here. So let's get ourselves the service roads for underground. We'll link it up like so and like so. So now all of this is kind of linked and you can get ooh, 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 the one piece that I haven't done is this piece right here. Let's quickly do that. Service road underground connection like so. And then top of ground we go up like this. 
and for now we'll link it like this but this means we've got room for a couple more stands over here and that links all together what I do want to do is want to build some of these things over here as well so we'll see about that we could potentially run more remote stands at a later stage but really that does become a little bit busy so guys yes further expansion more remote stands and uh, we haven't opened any of them up yet but I think this airport is working pretty nicely we've still got a little bit of niggles over here this one there's something wrong with this one people aren't through security haven't checked in there's a lot of issues right over here this one is a problem D1 let's quickly go and have a look at what's going on over here D1 uh, it's actually saying you've disembarked but you're saying you're not boarding uh, is it because there's no flight scheduled flight okay so you're something's wrong here so get rid of that plane uh, perfect okay guys uh, thank you so much for watching um, I will see you next time if you've liked it hit that button subscribe to the channel for the latest stuff and then uh, ooh, there's something funny going on and then uh, yeah leave some comments down below what do you think is the airport uh, fairly efficient at least <laughs> in your minds We'll see. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.